BNP testing made a splash this week in Jack with two reports. The first study asked whether outpatient serial testing may improve detection of early decompensation. This study was designed to monitor daily concentrations of BMP in a home setting and to determine how these concentrations correlate with acute heart failure, decompensation, and related adverse clinical outcomes in at-risk heart failure patients. Daily BNP and weight values were recorded with a median of 46 measures per patient over a monitoring period of 65 days. Outcomes measured were candidly complex, but here's the bottom line for this study. Home BMP measuring and testing is feasible and that trials using home monitoring for guiding therapy are justifiable in high-risk patients. Daily weight monitoring is complementary to BNP, but BNP changes correspond to larger changes in risk, both upward and downward. In a second report, researchers point out that we know a lot about the relationship between BMP levels in patients with heart failure, but not much about BMP levels and morbidity and mortality in patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. But these researchers report on 700 72 patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy that had BMP obtained in conjunction with ECHOs and clinical evaluation. What they found is that there appears to be more of a straight line relationship between BMP levels and outcomes in this group of patients. First of all, survival free of all cause mortality was worse across increasing levels of BMP. Three year survival by Turtai was 99% for patients with low levels of BMP, but dropped to 88% for patients with BMPs around 300 or more. Importantly, this relationship persisted in patients without resting obstructive physiology. Second, BMP levels were related to New York Heart Association functional status, and third, BMP levels were also related to the need for septal reduction therapy in follow up. What do I learn from these two studies? In this era of cost containment, home BMP measurement may be the future for your patients with heart failure. And in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, BMP is an independent predictor of mortality and morbidity. It sounds like measuring BMP in your patients with hypertrophic disease will give you a lot of information concerning prognosis and the need for ablative therapy. I'm Peter Bach, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.